Listen, I'm telling you this as a friend, a cookie craving should not be ignored. When you get that urge for a nice, warm, fresh out of the oven cookie, you gotta take action on that, okay? Now I'm here to help you out. We are going to try three different XXL cookies that are single serve to see if they're good. So all these recipes are from Sally Bakes blog, Sally Bakes. She is one of my fave recipe makers. I have pretty high hopes for these cookies. You ready? Let's go. One, two, three. Let's do this. Essentially, all of these cookies kind of start out the same. They start with just two tablespoons of butter and then a little sugar. The sugar cookie is the one that doesn't have brown sugar. The other two have brown sugar added on. So like any cookie, you start with the butter and the sugar. And then you add in the two tablespoons of the beaten egg, which sometimes it was kind of hard to scoop out the egg, but I manage and then add in the vanilla. So this is the same for all of them as well. Together good. And then of course it differentiates when you get to the dry ingredients because we're making three different types of cookies, which did I even tell you what cookies we're making? I don't think so. Well, we're making XXL buttery soft sugar cookie, death by chocolate and the monster cookie. So three different types of cookies. So for the monster cookie, you're gonna add in flour, oats and peanut butter and then M&Ms. Those are gonna be the things that are different. The sugar cookie, you're adding in sprinkles. And for the chocolate cookie, you're adding cocoa powder and chocolate chip. We have all my dry ingredients prepared. I'll move on to the spoon at this point. Now let's put in the chocolate chips, saving a little for the top. Oh my crap, where is that one going? And then they all use baking soda and salt. So all of these recipes are very simple and probably made, especially if you are lacking on ingredients and you just want a cookie. And the important thing is all of these cookies take a little bit to firm up. So you don't want to over bake them. You want to keep them soft in the middle and hard around the edges. And that's what Sally describes. And that's what worked for me. Once I kept them on the pan, you know, they turned out pretty dang good and solid after about 10 minutes or so. Sally says you can go ahead and make four different cookies with these recipes as well if you don't wanna make one large one, if you just wanna make a small batch. That's a cool idea too, but we're doing the big ones for today, obviously. Okay, so final thoughts on these cookies. All three happen to be freaking good. You know, I would honestly, I would say the monster cookie and the chocolate cookie are my favorite just because I can't say no to chocolate versus a sugar cookie. I normally don't have like a craving for a sugar cookie, but it was still pretty dang good. Let's dig into the chocolate one together, which I did kind of underbake this one on purpose. This one is so good. So overall, there was really no problems making these cookies. They all went according to plan. I kept them in there for the baking time, sometimes cooking them the longer baking time. I think it was because I was nervous they wouldn't solidify, but like I said, once you left them on the pan, they definitely solidified and gave that delicious crispy edge with the moist, tender center. So I was very happy with how these all went. They will save you some time, you know, you don't have to go baking a bunch of different batches of cookies in the oven. But I think most importantly, it's just gonna get you a single, you know, a smaller size cookie that you can just enjoy. You don't need to make a huge batch of cookies that you don't want. If you're just craving something at night, you don't have a lot of ingredients, you can just whip one up and these are, definitely good. They're just like a big cookie. They're not lacking anything. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you go try one of these. And what else should I say? Thanks for hanging out with me. I'm actually in a really good mood today. I mean, how could you not be if you just made some freaking cookies and ate them, right? And I hope you have a great day. So thanks for watching. You know, like I said in my other videos, if you want to take our relationship up a notch, feel free to hit the button below. Am I supposed to say this? I feel weird telling you to subscribe. I don't want you to do something you don't want to do, but you know, I just put it in the video, so I did it. Am I having too much fun talking to myself? This is supposed to be an outro. I need to pick it up. Okay, so thank you for watching and have a wonderful day, night, whatever you're doing, whatever time of day. Have a great time of day. Bye.